Bob Marshall Wilderness on an eight day sup support paddleboard trip on the South Fork of Flathead River. Well, I guess it's a horse support trip because we're riding the first day 17 miles in with our gear being carried on mules. So I guess it's a horse support sup trip. Haha, <laughs> let's do this. Jake Ingram and uh, own and operate Big Salmon Outfitters. Uh, purchased this company in 2017. Uh, do a lot of drop floats, which is what we're doing for you guys. Take a lot of people into the South Fork, the Flathead, and uh, drop them off so they can do DIY trips um, out on the South Fork. We have a hunting camp on, in the Big Salmon drainage, which is why we're Big Salmon Outfitters. Um, sits about 20 miles in, do full service uh, hunting trips for elk and mule deer. So yeah, it's primarily it. Just small, small company, family owned. Um, got a wife and a couple kids, so that's it. Making the game plan for tomorrow, where we're going to be dropped off, depends on how much riding we're going to do, what type of wood we're expecting in the water. So we're making decisions on that now. Mm -hmm. And they had three log jams just in this upper section. It's an hour less on horseback. They did tell me that the log jams are in the first mile, but I can't guarantee anything, you know. So mm -hmm. first night. At the trailhead, we're basically in the parking lot, swarmed by mosquitoes, but uh, we're ready. We're doing this. And be honest, can you see me? What can I say? What can I say? We're in Montana. We are outfitting, getting the mules packed, at least the guides are. We're about to saddle up and do our 17 miles into the Bob Marshall Wilderness. Just under seven hours, just over 17 miles, we have made it to our camp, our put in. 17 miles, first time on a horse. I feel pretty good about it. A sore butt, that's for sure. Uh, but I'm excited to get on there. That's Jordan Creek. That's our headwaters to the South Fork of the flathead. We're going to be paddling that I guess for about 10 miles before we actually hit the confluence. Welcome to the crib. Not the best setup this evening but it's fairly fast, fairly simple. In my Cedar Summit bug net with canopy on top, charging station, solar panel. This is our first night truly in the field paddling tomorrow which is day three it's only like eight o'clock but i'm pretty wiped i'm going to bed i think or at least just lie here listening to the rain and the river
I use for water, water treatment is a gravity filter system that I fill camp water with. So what I'm doing for dinners is ramen and masala. Seems filling enough and tastes pretty good. Easy enough to produce. Let that boil in there for five minutes and dinner's ready. So we're talking about uh, food weight, food weight, and package weight. Light tuna, and that's like about a pound. It is not light. It's it's the little I irony here. Heavy tuna. It's really what it is. Uh, my favorites would be these little. Uh, well, I'll show you the bags in my trash bag. <laughs> <laughs> these good to go. This one, so far, my favorite one. Good to go. So, not being a fisherman, but a person who appreciates light, fast, and compact. <laughs> this is Jimmy's <laughs> fishing system. Lures, permits, and a telescoping spin cast. Spin cast. Go slay those fish. People think that what I do on rivers is a publicity stunt. Why would you take a paddleboard on a river when there are so many other things that you could tour a river with? An IK, an inflatable kayak, a pack raft, a raft, a kayak. Why a paddleboard? That's just not, that's uh, just not, it's just not. Well, in reality, it is. It's a really good way to tour a river. The boards are durable. There's plenty of deck space. You could run rapids. You could nap on them. I think for a lot of rivers, a paddleboard is a really great way to get down. And it's not a publicity stunt. We're having a good time. We're safe. We're on what I think is probably the better craft for this type of river. We've made the gorge. We were able to ditch our gear with another pack, a saddle, another packer, and now we're running the technical whitewater. We will be tech running the technical whitewater in this gorge. Been looking forward to this section in particular. There's a narrow little slot in there. Maybe the boards will fit through, but we're walking it.
on the South Fork Flathead River. Right on, guys. Woo! You're still here? Get in the backcountry, set up a hammock. What are you guys doing? But I guess if you're going to stay here, watch some other videos of mine, subscribe to my channel, like, engage, do all that. And if you don't like it, let me know. Where are we going next time? It may be international. Canada is calling. Get out! Seriously, get in the backcountry.